Hello everyone, Mr. Storkin here, and welcome back to Marvel Ultimate Line. As we take a look at the hero of hire, the power man himself, Luke Cage. And I'd like to say I have not unlocked his costume, I haven't had the time, much time as I hope to have. But it gives me more time to talk about Luke Cage. And how I hate his character. <laughs> I really do. And this is not really a criticism towards Luke Cage. As much as you might think. This is a great place to grind, by the way. Here's a criticism towards the whole character of Luke Cage. I'm going to defend what I mean by this in one thing. I don't like overpowered characters. I really don't like overpowered characters in the media because it doesn't give me a reason to really root for them because like, okay, we know what's going to happen to them. They're not going to be damaged. That's why I find a lot of Superman stories really boring. Except for me, like the teenage Clark Kent, that stuff I find actually a lot more interesting because his powers aren't as developed. But the same regard, I don't really like it. Um, and his power is just that, dude, I'm bulletproof. It's like, okay, that doesn't mean like much of a power, but it just kind of bores me because nothing can harm him. And then it feels like the show has to write in a loophole. They always have to put, put in like kryptonite in there that can make it leak, and it's just like, what is it? And it's just, I never cared for Luke Cage's character. I always felt like the idea of that he's really strong. I like that he is kind of really nice strong character, but it just makes the stories kind of boring. And then it makes it feel like whatever he goes against, like in terms of villains, just either eh or just. Because I feel like his villain, um, if you think when a superman effect character, which is what Luke Cage is, you have to have a very, very loud, um, Lex Luthor to counter like, him, like, he's a smarter of the two. So Luke Cage is not that right, but how about he cares if he can mentally, like, defeat him. And I think that's where Connor now from the movie, um, definitely the Netflix show, but definitely the world, mentally. So they're like, he's not the real villain! Oh, shut up, please. I didn't like Luke Cage season 1. Actually, I take that back. I didn't like Luke Cage season 2. Is... Okay, I'm going to complain about the Netflix shows for a minute. They could kind of just drag on and got boring. I'm not finished Jessica Jones season 3. I'm almost done with Jessica Jones. Not Jessica Jones. Uh, Punisher season 2. In terms of goals, in terms of like what I'm going to be watching. It's gonna be Punisher season two, or I can review that. Punisher season two, and then then Iron Fist season two. I haven't had a hard time getting through Iron Fist season two, but it's the one I'm closest done with. And then Luke Cage season two, which is hard, and then Shadow Jones season three. That's my watch order in terms of the shows. But Disney Plus, all oh, the Mandalorian is gonna do a lot of my time. Um. Yeah, how's everyone doing? I'm doing all right. Um, more about Luke Cage and how I don't like his character. He's overpowered. <laughs> um, I do really like that it is. He is a really cool back in there, basically. Here. I felt like he is. Um, I know people are going to be like, what do you mean? Like, I feel like he's more important to Marvel's history than Black Panther because he is Black Panther. I don't really think Black Panther. That was just me. It's just not like. I don't think Black Panther really is. For some people, and the reason I say that is because he's a king. They're like, oh, he's a political movement. He speaks very well. He, he speaks about being a king. And most of his stories are like, I'm, a, I'm having trouble being king and how to suffer my people. Like, yeah, okay. But Luke Cage is kind of really the hero. But he, he's not our alone. I know we're going to hear your but it's, it's, it's more than I feel like Black Panther. I think they're definitely better for like the Africa, Africa, because he was Africa. So I thought the UK should go for African American youths. Yeah. But yeah, um, I can understand why some people do like um the UK show. Um, I don't think that's the actor, not uh, my culture. He doesn't do the job. Um, I just don't think the character has much to work with. I mean, uh, he's always an IT. The slowest part in um any of the Netflix shows. Actually, that's not true. I I like I like young Luke Cage. 
I feel like Lemon Gage has a lot more to work with than overpowered Lemon um, Gage, but he is very interesting to Lemon Gage. Really prevalent in terms of the comics because um, I think it's one of the real major. Um, not intra, it's inter. Inter. Inter is the same. Inter, um, racial. Oh, there's an island. Rated Miles is in racial in terms of characters, but I think Blue Cage is more of like, hey, you can actually kind of coexist a lot better. I know how incredibly rude that sounded, but it's just like, I'm trying to get this point across. I feel like Blue Cage is a better representation of African Americans and culture than Black Panther. That's why I have to get the character. Even though I don't necessarily like Luke Cage as a character, I'm doing Also, I'm doing the Venom vs. Electro fight this time because, again, I want to shake things up. Um, yeah, I personally don't like Luke Cage. I consider season one season. Okay, I want to tell you one story. I know you're like, this is about the shows, and it's like, not about the comics, but even in the comics, I found Luke Cage stories really boring. I think his only interesting stories is when he was paired of Iron Fist. Because they actually worked really well together. But I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give you a quick little story about Luke Cage season one. When the Marvel shows originally came out, I had the time, I would just sit down and binge watch all 13 episodes during um, the weekend and enjoy them. I did that with Daredevil, I did that with Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones actually finished the game because there was snow and I didn't have to go. So I think Jessica Jones early, Jessica Jones is one. Um, and then, um, I did it with Daredevil, and then Luke Cage came out. I did it with Daredevil, Daredevil season two. So Daredevil season two, I would be on uh, vacation all the time when I came out. I still like, binge watch. I made sure I found every episode, found every episode down when I was like, okay, I'm gonna just watch it in my place. Because it was brutal. Not just season one. It's still up there. But so I decided I'm gonna watch Luke Cage. So I plugged on Luke Cage. My god, it was so hard for me to watch. Mainly because... How do I put this politely? They say the N-word a lot, and... I don't think it's what they did, if you ask me. And I don't know, really, what are you going to say? Some people are like, I don't want to even say it out there, but it was so uncomfortable. Like, that's what people are talking about. I get it, it's meant to be like the wire. And, again, I saw a problem with this scene. Yeah, I finally get it, like, you're supposed to lure him in there and use the megaphone. It took me <laughs> up to the, uh, doing a character showcase that I didn't like that. But all things considered, um, Luke Cage is an awesome model character. He's definitely not my favorite hero for hire, my favorite hero for hire. But besides that, I think he's doing a great job of I do like that he is married to Chica Jones and it is a nice come out, you know. But I want you to count where I'm standing. I know that's supposed to be the trick. Good job. You're a good boy, Sonic. Um, so yeah. Wasn't like Luke Cage originally going to be one of the movies that Paramount was going to be when they bought the Marvel rights? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But again, it's just, I really don't care for the cage. Again, I haven't watched his alternate costume because trying to get his alternate costume is very hard and I just kind of wanted to do showcase and be like, we we'll record, talk a lot about the character and what I like and like don't like about them, and then edit them, and then lie down and watch the miraculous. Yes, that is a freaking guilty pleasure of mine. I'm going to admit this right now. I really am addicted to miraculous. Um,. The thing with Miraculous is really good. The thing with it is, you have to. The episodes that. It's very odd in that the episodes that you think are going to be bad are actually pretty good. And the episodes that you think are going to be good are actually pretty bad. So it, it's very odd. But I heard bad things about Lucasian and Based on what I heard, they did have good punches in 3. I think the same is true for Rank Fist and, um, Puncher, but I'm not going to 
I know the ending of, um... Oh, okay, because I remember it. Hey, what's that? Okay. I don't really care. Um, no, um... If you want to ask me, like, my favorite representation of the game here, um... I'll leave the open. Inspiring cartoon. I think that was his best representation. Because I felt like he was still pretty cool in that regard. He wasn't overblown, but he was in the best position to the team. I'm allowed to like that. Who's my fair character? I think Nova was my favorite additional character. Yeah, she was so swimming called Spider Man, and it's amazing. But, um, they are bringing back my friend, which looks pretty promising on Disney. Um, Junior, I might just watch it because you're a scarecrow. Because I'm going to be watching Disney Plus right now, because I want to see what they have to I I'm not sure if it's interesting, but the Disney story is going to end the art of the Shadowland kind of thing. I don't know what that happened. Based on what I heard, you know, I guess it'll come up and say, like, the Dower Boys. Yeah, I know what happened. I actually heard about it online, like, oh my god, that's the one that poisoned her, it's amazing. And then, okay, let me say this. I'm going to say this, and this is actually going to be a little quicker. Shade is the best character. I feel like Shade is just a beautiful character. In the show. Okay, he was just well written, well acted, and just like, very cool. And capitalist. It's like hot enough. So, in this case, I do find it kind of boring, um, but it is, I understand his representation of what he represents for Marvel. So, in that regards, Good job for the character. I really don't mind. Again, I don't want to get political about stuff, but when like stuff forces my hand that I have to get to be like there's a political agenda here, I have to point it out. I'm not political myself. I try not to be political, so it hurts me even to be like, oh, this is was all a ploy. Like it probably was, but it's not my duty to really say everything was a ploy. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to get rid of some of these, so it's just like, not really a problem going forward. Okay, Whew. So yeah, that was Luke Cage, and join us tomorrow as we take a look at the immortal weapon himself, Iron Vest, and then Nightcrawler, which I'm looking forward to. Anyway, till then, remember, be strong like Luke Cage. Till then, bye bye